trying to figure out something. I'm trying to figure out my friend Jesus. I'm trying to figure him out. I feel like I understand him more than I used to. But still, I don't understand him completely. No, I don't. I'm like, hey, I'm your friend. Buddy old pal. <laughs> Why won't you uh, show me uh, what you see in the future? Why don't you show me? Nope. <laughs> He's like, you'll see. <laughs> you'll see in time. <laughs> yep. Yep. He knows I'm trying to figure <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out his mind even though it's futile, futile, to try to figure out the mind of Jesus himself. <laughs> it's futile, futile. It is. He doesn't think like a man. <laughs> his thoughts are above my thoughts. His thoughts are above, his ways are above my ways. That's a fact. I'm like, come on, friend. Show me. Show me show me show me what's gonna happen. I know he can see the future. I know he can. <laughs> he's he's predicted things to come. The only way you can predict things is if he can see the future. <laughs> Jesus can see the future for real. He can see my future. <laughs> Because in my opinion, this is true, and I think I'm right about this. He has not fully unleashed the battle axe. Not fully. Like you, like you will. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Everything he's done so far is just preparation. I swear, it's preparation. It is. Still, he's like, it's, like a, it's just preparation. <laughs> the real shit to come hasn't happened yet, in my opinion. <laughs> the real, the real stuff he wants me to do <laughs> hasn't happened yet. <laughs> You'll know when it's happening. <laughs> You'll know. <laughs> right now, I'm still Mr. Nice Guy. I am. I'm still Mr. Nice Guy, but God knows, eventually, he doesn't want that. He wants me to be Mr. Mean Guy and Mr. Nice Guy at the same time. <laughs> no joke. Yes, I can do both. Sorry, I'm kind of short and quick with a lot of people right right now in the comments. <laughs> I've I've moved past a lot of things <laughs> that you guys are talking about. I'm I'm past it. I'm moving on <laughs> to the purpose. You know what I mean? I'm pressing forward. You know. But, so if I'm short and quick and I seem mean in the comments, don't take it personal. <laughs> Trying to just focus what's going on in real life, not YouTube life. But anyway, enough about that. I should be more friendly. You know, I read a comment about, you know, the INFJ should be more friendly, you know, not be forcing to be seen as a bad guy. I'm like, damn, 
I was I'm probably reading that by no accident. Because God knows I like, because because of how I was seen most of my life, I automatically, this is no joke, I automatically try to make people hate me. Automatic. Make, I just get it over with. Get, get, make me the bad guy automatically. I do that automatically. Some of you guys can see through that. You already know I'm a good guy. <laughs> you already know. You see past what I'm doing to make people hate me. You see past it. You're like, you're like I know he's a good guy. God thinks I'm a good guy as well. <laughs> that's what I was saying today. I'm like, I am a good guy. I'm claiming it. I'm one of the good guys. I've been the, one of the bad guys most of my life. I'm a good guy now. I'm claiming it. You know, I'm a good guy. Now. I've been a bad guy my whole life. My whole life I've been a bad guy. I'm a good guy now. The moment I claim to be a good guy, I'm going to get nailed to a cross tomorrow. I know I am. <laughs> now that I'm a good guy, I'm going to get nailed to a cross. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. It doesn't pay to be a good guy, does it? Not in this world. It doesn't pay to be a good guy in this world, trust me. I get nailed to a cross. <laughs> but anyway, it's enough about that. But, uh, but yeah, it's true. I... I uh, because because uh, um, because we're seen as the villain, like the the scapegoat, the INFJ. We're seen as the villain. We are, at least I was, from everybody that I was around. I was seen as I was seen as a bad guy. <laughs> I was <laughs> like my narcissist family. This is why it's tough. My narcissist family claimed to be Jesus followers. <laughs> Why do you think it's so hard for me to claim to follow Jesus after all this time? Because they do. The narcissists pretend to follow Jesus. I can't be like them, you know. But Jesus knows the truth. <laughs> I hope so. But anyways. Yeah. Reading that comment was no accident. I, I I need to change it up. You know, I can't make just everybody hate me. You know? Just be mean and like, yeah. But part of me being mean, it's no joke, is I don't think I will keep on being looked after by God f from now for the rest of my life. I don't think so. So I'm just being mean. I'm like, fuck it. It's over. God God will just leave me hanging eventually. He will. <laughs> you know, hasn't happened yet, but, you know, might as well just crash and burn myself before that happens. You know, <laughs> thought that my whole life. But, Anyways, this is what the video is about. This, this is what the video is really about. So a lot of this way, I've been trying to figure out what exactly uh, Jesus is doing. Like, you know, with, you know, in this game of chess that he's doing, you know what I mean? Before the real, before the real shit hits the fan, in my opinion. Jesus is just playing like set up chess right now. He's setting it up, preparation. I'm not kidding. It's like I'm setting it up, prepping it, get me ready to what he wants when shit is about to really hit the fan. <laughs> like really hit the fan, you know. Right now things are going as he wants. You know, if he wanted this channel to be more popular by now, he knows I would just say, fuck it, I'm done. <laughs> There's a reason why he left it not quite very popular. He left it that way on purpose. <laughs> yep. Yep. Whoever sees these videos is uh, is who God wants to see these videos. <laughs> Whoever sub is subscribed is who God wants to be subscribed. I never say like, share, or anything. So God is bringing in the people he wants to be subscribed himself. And when the time is right, he'll bring in another wave 
I haven't had a big wave of subscribers in a long time. And that's intentional. That's in totally intentional. And I'm like, thank God. <laughs> thank God. You know, God, God stopped the subscriber count, it seems like. It's been at a steady same number. I'm like, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Yeah. It's been a blessing for sure. <laughs> but, you know, all, this, all the subscribers, that means more possibility of donations. God knows the trade-off is not worth it to me. It's not. Just the small amount of subscribers that I got was so stressful it was not even funny you know I can't handle that bigger stress you know I'm not ready for the hate of the whole planet openly against me quite yet you know it takes a toll to be the most hated man on earth it takes a toll especially when it's more obvious to the masses it takes a toll I've already been hated for so long I want to be liked for once you know God knows that's all I'm looking for is to be loved for once. That's it, you know, by someone that's not God. <laughs> someone physical that loves me, someone physical, you know, goes a long way. But anyways, enough about that. Enough about that. This is what the video is about. This is what it's really about. I've been doing a lot of pondering about this. Um, for the most part, I've been um, I've been kept in the dark about the future that God sees from now to the, you know. I've been kept in the dark of what goes down. I have for good reason. Eventually, I feel like God will, will not keep me in the dark as much. But I feel like uh, me being kept in the dark is a smart move for many reasons. For many reasons, and I think God knows it as well. He's being wise as hell by keeping me in the dark about a lot of things. <clears throat> very, very much in the dark. It's a very smart move. At this point, it's a very smart move. Um, like I said, in my opinion, things haven't gotten really crazy. Like I feel they will. Not yet. Not quite yet. But it's building, trust me. The Christians know it as well. They do. They can sense it. It's almost like they can sense that uh, God brought in one of his ultimate weapons among them. It's like they can sense it. They can sense that God brought in his axe among the Christians. They can sense it. I know they can. They're like, they're like, what the hell is that guy? We don't understand that guy. And they don't understand they don't, and they never will. They never will understand me, like God does. <laughs> like I said before, God brought in somebody that only he understands, even more than who I understand I am. God understands me more. Where I'm going to become a person I don't even recognize by as far as this as this keeps going I'm going to become a person someone I don't even recognize that is the real me that God knows is underneath you know what I mean? but I just feel like before anybody knows it God will activate the battle axe like for real activate me He'll activate the real, the real me. They activate the battle axe. When I'm in the midst of everybody. 
And that's when shit's really gonna get nuts. No, I haven't been my real self. In my opinion, I haven't been my real self in front of anybody for most of my life. For the most part, I haven't been my real self. Once I become my real self, and I feel like it's okay to be my real self, that's when it'll get really interesting. Because I've held back because of a, because of a, I admit, you know, uh, the people that control this world, they're not like me. Get what I mean? And I always feared because I'm not like them. I'm not like the people in power. I'm not. And they will know that. I'm not like them. Just like they knew Jesus was not like them, the people in power. See what they did to Jesus? That's what I was afraid they would do to me. You know what I mean? If I showed my, my real self. Because <laughs> I'm not part of the good old boy system. I'm not part of the, the authority narcissist system. I'm not. Nope. I might pretend to get along with it all just to survive, but I'm not one of them. And God knows it. <laughs> I'm not like them at all. <sighs> That's why a lot of this has been secretive. You know what I mean? God's protecting the battle axe. <laughs> he is. For the most part. Like, even if God revealed who I am, you know, Uh, they still wouldn't believe it. That's how that's how protected I am. That even if it came from God, telling them who I am to God, they still wouldn't believe it. That's how protected I am. And that's how well my cover is <laughs> as well. It's true. I've never felt safe for, me, for it to be. For me to be myself, I never felt it safe on this earth. Never. Nope. <laughs> no, sir. But eventually, I have to just ignore all that. But if we are to win this warfare, I'm going to have to be my real self. Yep. My real, real self. Not held back. Because I'm intimidated by this world nailing to like nailing me to a cross, basically. But anyways, that's not what the video is about. It's about um, you know how Jesus said, "I'm here to bring the sword. I'm not here for peace. I'm here to bring the sword." There's a reason why he said sword back then and not axe back then he didn't say uh, you thought I came to bring peace but I came to bring the axe he didn't say that back then he said the sword back then but this go around it's totally different he's bringing an axe he is so this time around, he's like, I'm, I'm not here. I have not come to bring peace this time, but the axe. A totally different weapon than a sword. You think about the difference. An axe, I know I do. Way more serious business. It's going to get ugly with an axe. No joke. A sword means, is more clean, you know what I mean? Just chop with the sword, you know? Dyson with the sword, it's more clean, you know. It's a little meat, a little less, a little meager, you know, <laughs> compared to an axe. When you think of the axe, you know. I don't know. I think of a very pissed off Jesus. 
that remembers getting nailed to a cross. That's what I think of. A very pissed off Jesus that remembers how he was treated before he was nailed to a cross. He remembers he's coming back for vengeance. I'm not joking. I'm not even joking. <laughs> I admit even I'm even I'm kind of um, intimidated by what uh, Jesus is doing you know what he's what he wants me to be eventually even I'm getting intimidated I'm like this is getting this is gonna get nuts I'm not joking He's already making me a lot meaner than I normally am. He's already making me meaner. A lot meaner. Like I am a mean, mean axe, you know? Like, man. It, it's almost like I can, I can feel. Like I said before, I can feel the mean part. The mad part. The mad part of Jesus. I can feel the... I think I'm supposed to. I think I'm supposed to. I'm, I, I feel like that's that's part of uh, me being his axe is I can feel his anger. I swear. <laughs> I can feel his anger. Not my anger. Not mine. I have, it. I have my own anger. I admit it. But it's like I can feel his anger. His. And it's like way more. <laughs> than my anger. <laughs> no joke. I'm like, this is... That's one thing I can say. That, um, I feel like I can feel part of uh, God's anger. I can feel it. I can. The one... One of the bad benefits of being a battle accident is I can feel his anger. In order to be an effective weapon of vengeance, I have to feel his anger, I do. And I have to know the difference between my anger and his. His anger feels way more than mine, I can tell you that much. I may not be feeling all of his anger, but some of it. But the sum of his anger I'm allowed to feel, that isn't my anger, uh, is, uh, it's, it's legit, you know. God has, God has anger. He's got anger issues, he does. Don't strike me dead. Don't strike your battle axe dead. I'll help you, I swear. I said before the love part of God the love part you know I say God is love you know that's true it's true but he's angry as well <laughs> he is he is and I think this anger has been building up I'm not even kidding this anger has been building up and going on <laughs> since Jesus said since since the days of Jesus at least probably before that as well but I know it's been going on since straight since the crucifixion God's anger has been going on since then I know it's been building since then to this point because yeah I'm like can't say that I'm like oh yeah I'm God's sword I'm coming the vengeance with God's sword I'm God's sword that's a lie way more meager talk there way more uh, pathetic with a sword it is oh yeah I'm just God's sword nope the 
ax means business. <laughs> yeah. He's gonna fuck shit up. He is. And he's not, he knows I've been getting so excited about the destruction. I have. I've been getting all giddy about it. I have, you know. I'm like, you mean this, this is really going to happen? Yeah. He's diverting. He's diverting me away from the destruction. I've been getting too excited about the destruction. I have. But that's how he made me, you know. He's been diverting me to more, uh. Peaceful thoughts, peaceful thoughts, you know, <laughs> divert, divert me to more peaceful thoughts. It's true. I was getting a little, I was getting a little too excited about the destruction of the corrupt out there. I was getting a little too excited. I was like a real battle axe chomping at the bit, you know. <laughs> So yeah, God's been wise. He has. He's, he's, he's like diverting me from the vengeance that's to come. He's diverting me for now. For now, he's diverting me from it. I trust he knows what he's doing. He knows me very well to divert me from that kind of stuff. That will happen. He's like, don't worry about it right now. <laughs> divert it. Yeah, it's being too distracting for you right now, which it is. <laughs> God, you should have had your vengeance years ago, in my opinion. You've let this go on for way too long. You should have had your vengeance way long time ago. a mean side of Jesus. <laughs> There's a mean side. Especially, especially, uh, I swear, he knows, he knows, he knows who harmed me. He does. He knows who's harmed me. He's not one of those people that just forgets that. He doesn't. He remembers who's harmed me. He does. Yep. Pissed him off. No joke. They pissed him off. But anyways, enough about that. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this the way Jesus wants. We're gonna do it his way. He knows the the right way to do all this. He's way smarter than me. He's way wiser than me. He knows the right way to do this. Trust me. He knows the right way to do all this. He does. <laughs> if I say I know better than Jesus how to do all this, I don't. I don't know how to do all this. What he wants done. I don't. Not like he does. I don't. So I gotta do this his way. So. <laughs> like I said, just barely preparing. In my opinion, we're just barely preparing. <laughs> barely. I'm more focused now. I put aside my, all the distraction stuff because I know I know God is more serious and more legit than before. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I'm like, all right, <laughs> less distractions. You know, <laughs> God's serious. God's actually serious. You know, <laughs> about utilizing me. He's actually serious. <laughs> Not a joke. So, I'm even trying to work on all my weaknesses and stuff. I'm, I'm taking it serious. I'm even trying to drink more 
water. It's not work. No. That's what I was thinking about. Was um, why Jesus is bringing an axe this time? Why why not just bring a sword again? Why would Jesus not just bring the sword again like he did the last time? Because he's pissed. He's pissed. I think I hit it right on the head. He is pissed. Jesus gets pissed. He is pissed. Yes, he is. He is pissed. <laughs> no joke. That's why he's. That's why he brought the axe. He's pissed, right? He's pissed. <laughs> to put it blunt, he's pissed. You don't have vengeance if you're not pissed. <laughs> That's a true statement. You don't get vengeance if you're not angry as hell. <laughs> you know what I mean? Vengeance, vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. He's angry as hell. It's vengeance. <laughs> no, Joe. The acts of vengeance. He's angry. <laughs> He wants vengeance for a lot of things. <laughs> a lot of things he wants vengeance for. What people have done to the uh, the people uh, that he cares about, basically. So like I said, no, nothing goes... Um, <clears throat> nothing passes by his sight. Nothing. Jesus knows everything that takes place, everything, to the very last detail. I'm not even joking. How do I know? I'm alive right now. Jesus knows exactly what I went through, to the detail. I'm not joking. He sees. He saw everything that anyone has gone through. He's seen it. He saw it all. He may not have stepped in and defended it. You know what I mean? But he saw it for sure. That much I can say. Jesus saw anything you endured at the hands of others. He saw it. You name it, he saw it. I swear. <laughs> Nothing gets past his sight. He saw it all. Like I said, he may not intervene, like preparatory intervene, but he did see it. He did. He saw it. All these years I thought he didn't see what happened to me. Not really. He did see what happened to me. He did. <laughs> uh, he's coming for vengeance, he said. <laughs> he's coming for vengeance. That's what I was thinking about. I'm like, he ain't bringing no measly sword. He ain't bringing some small sword. <laughs> measly sword. He's bringing a mean, dangerous axe. <laughs> yes, he is. And he he hasn't he hasn't fully let the the axe loose. He hasn't. No. How do I know? <laughs> I'm the axe. I will know once I'm let loose. <laughs> Fully loose. I'm let loose by Jesus. You know what I mean? Whatever consequences happen to me, so be it. <laughs> Jesus will let me loose. He'll protect me. You know what I mean? Who knows? Maybe you won't. Then. <laughs> but I know he'll let me loose when the time comes. I know he will. When the time is right. 
if any of you think he's let me loose by the videos and stuff, then <laughs> not really. That's scary, isn't it? He hasn't really let me loose. After a thousand something videos, I haven't really been let, let loose. Not really, in my opinion. I No. <laughs> no. I haven't represented the vengeance of God yet. No. I haven't. In my opinion. I haven't really full force. I've, I've held back. I have. Because I'm like, I'm afraid God won't protect me from the consequences of this world. <laughs> you know what I mean? God knows I paid the consequences on this planet for who knows what. I'm like, will I be protected from God from the consequences of this world? Even though I'm doing God's will, will I be protected? I don't know. I don't fully trust it, you know. God could leave me hanging in a jail cell, you know, locked up for doing his will, you know. God knows I've, I've kind of been in that situation before. <laughs> Who's to say it won't happen again? God will leave me in a jail cell for doing his will. <laughs> you know, I was doing your will, God. Now I'm in a jail cell. That's what I'm afraid of. <laughs> Being, being left hanging. That's being left hanging by God, in my opinion. Being left in a jail cell. You do what God wants as the battle acts. You get put in a jail cell. Thanks, God. Thanks. 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 <laughs> I used to say that back in the day. Thanks. But anyways, I'm rambling. I'm still standing, all right? Better than I ever did. I'm still standing. Like Elton John sings about, I'm still standing. Better than I ever did. Yeah. Hell yeah. <sighs> mean battle axe. <laughs> yep. Mean battle axe coming our way. Mean battle acts coming our way for sure. So many signs, so many signs. The battle axe is coming. The, the yeah. so many signs. It's coming. Yeah. Nope. I haven't been fully unleashed. I have barely starting to barely. Barely starting to be unleashed. As God's vengeance. <laughs> His battle axe of vengeance. Barely starting to be unleashed. Barely. <laughs> people, people even look at me. They're, they're probably like, that's one mean battle axe right there. He is pissed. What they don't know. God's pissed. He is. They think I'm pissed? It's God's, God's pissed. I feel God's pissed. His anger. I feel God's anger. It's not all mine. One of the curses of being the battle axe. I feel God's anger. I did. No joke. And he wants me to. I know it. I know he wants me to feel his anger. I know he wants me to. So I don't feel so alone. Like feeling guilty for being angry at the world. God's even more angry. And I know it. Yep. Yes, sir. Nobody knew it, but I did. Yep. Full spectrum of emotion that God feels. He feels everything from anger to love. Stronger than anybody. So. He isn't just all love. <laughs> yeah, God is love, but he's also anger as well. <laughs> he is. Love and anger can go together. They can. Love and anger can go together. <laughs> yes, they can. <laughs> I'm angry at you because I love you. 
You ever heard that before? I'm angry at you because I love you. See, anger and love go together. <laughs> anger and love go together. <laughs> That's what I've learned. Yeah. He may, God may love me unconditionally. He's also mad at me. He's mad at me. I know he is. But... Oh, well. Oh, well. I'm doing my best, you know. I feel like I'm doing my best. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself so far. I'm proud of myself. Anyways. That's all I want to say. I better get going. day goes by. Instead of YOLO, li live like you'll keep on living. <laughs> Not you only live once. Because I feel like I've lived twice. You know, this mercy period of God. I've lived twice. You know, it's my second run at life. <laughs> it's like, you only live once? That's not true. With me, it's like, you only live twice. I've lived twice in this life. Up to when God, up up to before God intervened, and then after God intervened, the mercy period. I've lived twice. This is my second go. It's my second chance. I can't screw it up, right? I have to do it right. You know, I have to do this right. I'm getting a second chance. But anyways, enough about that. God's bringing the axe. He's pissed. He's pissed. If he wasn't pissed, he would let me know and stop me from saying he's pissed. He's not stopping me. He's pissed. All right. The battle axe says he's pissed. He's pissed. All right. I represent his anger. I represent his pissed off sign. I do. That's one of the things he's allowed me to feel is his anger. He's pissed. He is. Yep. You were right, JR. God is pissed. <laughs> he is pissed. He is. Yes. I wanted to believe he was just all lovey dovey. I wanted to believe that. That's not true. That's not true at all. That's not reality. And God's pissed. If I'm here, God's pissed. If the battle axe is involved, God's pissed. He's pissed. All right. Like I said, people look at me, they're like, he, he looks pissed up. Are you pissed? Yep. <laughs> it's God that's pissed. God's anger going through me. He's pissed. I'm just portraying his pissed off. <laughs> thought I'd come across someone more angry than me. God's more angry than me. He is. He needs anger management. God needs anger management. Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, well. That's what I wanted to talk about today. It was like, why did God bring an axe? And not just a sword. He's got to be super He's got to be super pissed. This cover out. He's got to be super pissed. When he brought the sword, he was just kind of pissed. When he brought the sword the last time, he was just kind of pissed. Bringing the axe, he's super pissed. He is. But enough about that. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. I swear, he wants me to think of better things. Don't worry about the vengeance and stuff. Don't worry about it. I got totally diverted away from the vengeance. I did. The vengeance and destruction that's coming our way, I got diverted, you know? The more peaceful things I did. So. I was getting a little too excited. Everyone's like, you're excited for the, the destruction of most of mankind? Yeah. They're not even real people out there. They're just narcissists, you know? possessed demons 
destroy away. They're not even real humans. It's like it's like God killing nobody. <laughs> They're not even real. No joke. Even the narcissist will tell you. The psychopath will tell you. They're not a real person. They'll tell you. They are correct. They're not. They're not a real human. They're not. <laughs> and sometimes I'm like, am I a real human? I think I'm getting there to feeling like a real identity. Like I said, my, uh, it's hard. Uh, when you grow up around psychopaths, you lose your identity as well. God's trying to return my real identity from being around psychopaths. And so I'm becoming a real person <laughs> eventually. The person that God knows I am. <sighs> so don't feel sorrow. They're not real. They're not really real anyways. They're not. Don't feel sorrow for them. You know how they say everybody has a, a little good in them? They don't. They have no good in them. None. They don't feel goodness. They don't. It's a true statement. They don't. They can abuse you for 60 years straight and feel nothing. That's a fact. I, you know, I wasn't abused that long because I escaped. But if I was around them still, they'd still be abusing me in many ways. <laughs> There's no goodness in them. They don't have a heart. They don't. So don't feel bad. Don't feel sorry for sorrow for them. They didn't feel sorry for you. They didn't. I know that for my case. They didn't feel sorry for me at all. It was like another day in the park abusing me. It was like another day in the park. No problem. Fuck them, you know. <laughs> Bad lax is coming for vengeance, but Jesus is the vengeance. Way better vengeance than me doing the vengeance. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, I need to get that in my head. They're not real people. Even though they walk around like they're real people, and people want to convince me, still convince me like that they're real people, they're not. God knows and I know it. They're not. They're not real people. They're just acting. Full time. <laughs> For the most part, full time acting. So. I want to believe that that actor is them. I want to believe that that's them. It's not them. It's not them at all. I was, I was around them most of my life. I still don't know who they really are. I was around psychopaths for most of my life. I still don't know who they really are. That's how much uh, they were pretending all that time, acting. I still don't know who they actually are. <laughs> Not really. You know, I just know their character, you know. Anyways, enough about that. God's pissed. God's pissed. He is. I know he is. He's pissed as hell. And I know he wanted me to be pissed as well. I know he did. That was part of my forging. He wanted me to be pissed. I know he did. He wanted a part. He wanted a part of me to hate this world. I know he did. He wanted me to hate, despise this world. And I did for most of my life. I hated this place. I hated everybody. He did that on purpose. Nothing that God does is by accident. He wanted me to hate this world. He wanted me to hate it because he's angry at, as hell at this world. That's why. And he was going to utilize me for his anger. He wanted me to be angry at this world. He did. I know it. I know it. It was all. It was all part of the design. It was to get me angry as hell. I haven't shown my real anger. Not really. But God knows, my real anger is there. I'm angry as hell. I've tried to release it in many different ways, but I still have that anger. I do. I don't think I'm as angry as God, though. And that scares even me. <laughs> that scares even me. I don't have God. I'm not as angry as God. Someone's like, you're no, you're no general. Compared to God, I'm not 
a, the real mean general compared to God. God's the real mean, the mean general. He's the real top dog general. Not me. I'm not. <laughs> He's doing things way smarter than I would. You know. He's the real king <laughs> general. He is. God is. He is. Not me. So far, his, his strategy has been way more patient, smart, wise than anything I could come up with. God's strategy has been way better so far. It has. It's been slower, but it's not the fast to win the race. No. Nope. It's not the fast to who win the race. Nope. Not in the long run. God sees how this ends. He does. That's how patient he is. He sees how it ends in 30 years from now. <laughs> you know. Anyways. That's all I'll say for this video. It's God bringing the axe. Yes, he is. made his friend into an axe. I feel so used, God. I feel so used. You just want me to be your axe. I feel so used by you, God. I thought I was your friend. You just see me as an object. You just see me as an axe. I thought I was your best friend. Now I'm just an axe to you. I'm mad. I'm mad. I'm more than just an axe. I'm more than just an axe. I'm a real real man. I'm not just an object to chop away at people. You know what I mean? I'm more than that. I'm not just an axe. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm more than just an axe, alright? Even though I look like an axe. I look like an axe. I'm more than just an axe, alright? I'm a real person. For hell's sakes, I'm a real person. I have feelings, you know? I want to be loved for once by somebody. I want to be loved by someone not named God. <laughs> a real person to love me. God knows it. After all this time on earth, no one's loved me for real. Not really, yeah. Someone asked me the other day, that they're like, have you ever been married? I'm like, nope. <laughs> I've been trying to get through this life unseen. <laughs> totally unseen. <you> know? <laughs> no commitment. You know? <laughs> get through this life unseen. You know? <laughs> Unscathed. No one even sees. They always pick Cyclops anyway, so they pick the pretty boy anyway. You know? <laughs> Just get through life unseen. They'll pick pretty boy anyway. <laughs> Anyway, I've talked enough. Nonsense. I've talked enough. But it keeps me going. It helps me at each uh, point in time. Each video helps me at each point in time. It does. What God's doing, the strategy I see, you know. Even though I don't, I still don't know what God's doing. I still don't. I'm still guessing. I'm still guessing. God knows I'm still guessing at what God's doing. I'm trying. It drives me nuts that I, I don't know what God's doing. I don't know the mind of God. I don't. I can't figure it out. He's that smart. I can't figure out what God's doing, how, how much he sees on the, the, the battlefield that I can't see. God's, God sees the full battlefield that I can't see. That's why he's the real strategist, the real general. He can see the whole battlefield at once. Whole battlefield, God can see it all at once. I cannot do that. I can kind of sense how things are going on the battlefield as I'm out there. I can kind of sense it. But overall, 